people had heard that we'd done good work. So I, I went off and I was doing another passion project um, called Mana VR, which was a beach scene. Now, the, the, just even getting the data itself, you know, I just finally got some money to get a nice um, uh, Nikon D810. And I'm walking on slippery rocks, and I slip over and I break my middle finger. It's still fucking thick no. as hell. Oh, and like, so oh. I've been, oh. I'm in this cavern. Can knuckle you hold joint? Your yeah, 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 yeah. So you can see my middle finger. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to hold my finger steady there. But, uh, so that's blood, sweat, and tears yeah, yeah, yeah. if you didn't so understand the metaphor. On the, slipped on the rocks, broke the freaking finger. Well, you know. Yeah, it was pretty nasty and pretty fucking swollen. In New Zealand on a beach, uh, right? In New Zealand on a beach. <laughs> what the, beach is this? Uh, I don't know. Just some beach. Um, so <laughs> the tide comes in and we're in this concave and we've got 45 minutes to actually take the photos before we're drowned from the water coming in and trapping us. Um, and so I, I have to take like 3,000 photos with basically a broken finger. Um, and, I, and I did it, but I was so you adrenaline. You did it was, with the broken finger? Yeah, with the broken finger? finger. I was more worried that I'd just almost <laughs> smashed this brand new camera that I'd waited for years to get my hands on. Like to have a $6,000 camera to me is like... That's insane. Wait, so like, what did you do to the finger? Rock. I mean, yeah. should we go through the gory details? I guess not. But. I mean, I've got actual footage of me slipping earlier while holding my phone. Um, so it was the second oh, time shit. I'd we got to edit all that shit There's together, a second, please, There's a second time Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, right now, we're going to put that, that, <laughs> that stuff in there for you. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. so we got in. We, uh, you know, I did this. We processed it. And then Nvidia, uh, Nvidia called us for GDC 2017 saying, we need a bloody, we, need, we hear you're the best. And like, wow. I'm just like, sure well, am. Thank you. Um, <laughs> sure, yeah. I'll. I'm um, just like, yeah, my big team and my office will get straight onto it. And it's literally just like, literally me in, your in my room. bedroom. <laughs> um, and so, One man you know, I, 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 no, in, in all defense, um, I brought on a new guy called Tim uh, as an intern to help mm. out. Um, and so, me and him just hammered it. Uh, wow. So, in all fairness, he had an intern, but yeah. still achieved. I had to train I mean, him at the same time, on. though. I literally had to train him while we're doing it. So you, um, so you grab this whole beach. Yeah, right? and we produced an experience within two weeks, and we also built volumetric video RGBD technology yep. uh, using connects and used all my temporal noise reduction techniques and all that I'd learned in prior years because I did video editing and flew drones and all this crazy shit as well. So like, if I was to list all the different things that I've like jumped on over the years, yeah, uh, most of them being extremely big fails and resource con con constraint, but it still somehow up. doing it. All these prior skills we're able to use on this stuff. So. Within two and a half weeks, we have a beautiful Māori uh, lady singing the cutting, cutting her, which is like the calling song, extremely haunting and melancholy. We have this po that was scanned. My friend Weed Cookie made this 80, 80 foot high po that he made himself, and we need place it. Po? We, po uh, it's like a like big a, stick, like a t like a totem, <laughs> yeah. totem like a, pole. Okay, oh, totem like pole. a totem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, like a big totem pole. Okay. Yeah. just just being. So true. they scanned this pole. I mean, that in itself was hilarious. So I that, mean, amazing. <laughs> yeah, but how we scanned it because it wasn't there. It was next to the airport, so we couldn't use the drones to scan it. So we had to go on an eighty foot scissor lift in high winds. Oh, and this scissor lift was sticking. And me and Wee Cookie, poor old Wee Cookie, is like <laughs> about to cry, and I'm getting terrified because it would keep on getting stuck, and the winds would pick up, and we're like. 80 feet high going like this, and we're like, oh my God, we're gonna fucking die. So, it's, so everything for this project was just like one big near death experience after another. Um, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and there was no there was no budget. It was just, we just did this on just request doers. of NVIDIA. And then, you know, wow. two and a half weeks later, NVIDIA's showing at GDC. It's like their highlight fucking piece. I'm like, cool. Uh, and did so, they yeah, pay you for that? I didn't want them to because it was a, 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 just to be clear this was a Māori experience and mana means mana is you do not want it related in any way to the to cash uh, mana is a very sacred word in our culture interesting and explain. so yeah. well, explain it. it's, well, you can't really why which, which why culture? can't really mana? explain mana mana is like I am the land I am the people mm. I am it comes from the earth it's, it's yeah, natural exactly. it's an, yeah. let me let me yeah. paint a scene because I, I saw he showed this to me so I came actually I think in this exact room really and he had the vibe set up uh -huh. and um, I you know he was. It's this beach in New Zealand, okay? And you put put the the vibe. You got the six off full sure, full room track. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And um, I was a bit skeptical. <laughs> I think it's okay to say that. Yeah, know? I think everyone was right. And so <laughs> who is this? Who is this Tigerian? Right. Like, what am I about to see? So I go and I put this headset on, right? And I actually have Snapchat spectacles footage of me doing this with him. So yeah. we'll bring it in. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. But um. So you, you, you're on a beach in New Zealand and, um, and there's a giant 
a totem pole that has to be, I don't know, 20 yeah, it's feet 80 feet, It's 80 feet high. 80 feet 35 high. 35 meters. On the edge of a beach, okay, yeah. there's a woman in the corner who is volumetric yeah, video. Yeah, using RGBD technology. Okay, so, so she's got yeah. like a like a kind of like, a, you know, a, a hood on or of yeah, sorts. Yeah, she's, she's a she, traditional face moko right. tattoo. Uh, I, I mispronounced that word. I'm not... I, I, okay. I love Māori culture. I'm not particularly good at pronouncing it. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but it's, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's an, amazing. And so, 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 what I did was I, I, I used this vibe, and then um, uh, I got close. They have these rocks that are sh- large and they're shimmering in the sunlight, right? Yeah. Huh. And so, dynamic he lighting. To, exactly. He goes to explain to me. He goes, "Well, you know, we could change the lighting on that." Wait, so like depending on where you are in the scene, the reflection it, will change? Look, it's it's real life, guys. <laughs> it this, looks this, is why like I this is why I can't keep it You're on a real it, beach. When I have clients come to me and they're like, hey, hey you know, explain to me this VR thing that you do. Um, I've got the space I want to capture and I want to put in the VR. Right. And I'm like, okay, look, get off the phone, go walk around your space and then come back to me. And they'll, they'll do it. And I'm like, how was that? And like, I don't it's understand. Actual I said, That's reality. actual reality. So it's literally, we're capturing the fundamentals of what makes reality look real. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, that's where the deep PBR comes in, which is huge. So in the past, we've been kind of faking it using all sorts of different methods and uh-huh. uh, what I refer to as a hybrid lighting system. So you're still stuck with some baked elements. But this has literally now got to the point that none of it happen, ha- happens anymore. That's amazing. Well, so here is the eerie thing about it all, right? So right. I looked at all these reflections. I'm looking at the water. The water is cool. Water is really hard to achieve, yeah. by the and way. And is this video plain or is this it's like not a video. Used, The water's using shaders. It's a, it's Unreal Engine. It's literally it's, a gaming okay. It's a gaming engine, but you're walking around like you're walking back in reality. It's the weirdest yeah. thing to yeah. explain, but it doesn't feel like a game. It feels like you're inside of a video. Why do we not have a demo of this right now? We, well, we, we do. I've got it on my laptop. We've, just we're going to bring it in. We're going to bring it in. But wait. So here's the catch even beyond that, right? So the other part that was mind blowing is he says, the one woman the totem pole those were never there at that all beach. separate yeah what they, they were never there oh so, so we're, we're able to reposition it? we're able to superimpose uh, one was we, volumetric yeah yeah oh my god the yeah. pole was volumetric well or, the pole, no, the pole was photogrammetry talk about talk about, yeah. talk about yeah. deep fakes and like recreating well, situations I mean, the yeah, moon landing yeah. did happen you guys yeah 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 you hear it here first <laughs>